everyone, <laughs> welcome back. And I've got this video here that I use the leftovers that I've got in the August Kitaholic kits, but also this marbled paper that I made when I was making the DIY embellishments in the marbled paper. So check out those videos, they've gone up before this one. And you can see I've got the marbled paper there, but I've also got that tag there that I made with the DIY embellishment, just added that title and inked up the sides and added the twine and that is uh, the simplest title embellishment gorgeousness ever so i was going through all the papers that i've got here and it actually wasn't like the last layout that i made but it was close to the end of the kit and i've got all these little strips of cutoffs that i used um, or made when i was making my traveler's notebook so i then decided that those would be a nice addition having them vertically um, up and down the page or horizontally but in a vertical kind of design I believe is actually the technical <laughs> but um, I thought so that would be the way to go so I'm just having a play here with the colors it does end up obviously very different when I do stick everything down as per usual whenever I lay things out I have a a general idea yep this is looking good and then when I stick it down it all changes just like that one changed when I used it as a template to cut I was like oh actually that paper is a nice color on the background I'd prefer that one and yeah just having a play so just thought I'd cut off a couple of extra of the colors the other addition extra you know bonus of using multiple pattern papers that go together in the collection in the kits is that when you go to embellish you have a range of colors that you can can choose from so here I am I'm just gonna have a, a better play without everything in the way and then I will glue it down I just use double-sided tape I don't um, the marbled paper it's it's mixed media in a way because it's a wet media that you're you know painting on there and whatnot however it isn't textured like normal mixed media so I don't use wet glue it just sticks pretty well with the double-sided tape and some I've just laid underneath each other and others on top of each other just to get a, a good range of colors and make it not all straight having different ends to each of the strips of paper just makes it a bit more fun so at this stage this is all I've got going on for me I don't know what else I'm going to add in fact there's not much embellishments left in the kit because I made two sets of DIY embellishments. I've made multiple items, junk journal, traveler's notebook, lots of layouts, art journal page with this kit. Um, and if you're interested in that, in how much I did get from this kit and what little I had left over, then check out the killer kit video for August. And uh, that is, um, you know, obviously when you're getting down in a kit in terms of what's left, it can be a bit trickier. But the good thing about making DIY embellishments is that you then have those embellishments that you can add. And because they're already layered and clustered as a group, you don't need to add much more. It just brings that pop of a cluster just directly onto your page. So other than this one, which is pretty um, just standard, there's nothing, not standard, but plain and simple, I guess. There's nothing on this DIY embellishment tag other than the title it just I wanted it to be like that just to be a title but then I do add some other DIY embellishments to this page so you'll get to see without even going to look at the other video it's a little bit of a cheat spoiler uh, you get to see some other embellishments that I made so as you can see just doing some simple layering I did think it needed that doily which is not a normal doily we got them in the kit and they they don't have any of the punch out parts like a normal doily it's like a full um, normal shape and I just thought that bordered it nicely to make it the photo stand out on top of all the the colors that are going on in the background so just committing to it all just taping it down adding some fun foam to the photo cluster a lot of fun foam <laughs> I didn't cut it very well <laughs> but now I am so I like to just add my fun foam with some wet glue usually but I was fighting with my wet glue and I was running out and honestly the other wet glue that I brought um, was out in the lounge room it was late at night when I made this and I did not want to get up 
turn all the lights on. Um, I was home alone, so I didn't, you know, didn't want to risk <laughs> being um, in the rest of the house while, while I was in the house by myself because that's just how much of a weakling wuss I am sometimes. But yeah, so it worked well enough with the tape. It just takes a little bit longer. So just putting that tag up on Fun Foam as well because it's I wanted it to sit in line with the photo cluster. And then this is where I decide it needs a little bit more, not too much, because it is um, drawing your eye to the photo cluster in the title, but also the background. But I just thought it needed something in that top corner where the doily is so that it could pop and make a bit of an interest to look at. So here's some of the DIY embellishments and just having a look to see what would work in that top corner. So yeah, so this photo here is my boys um, first time they went to the Warhammer shop and they got to try and they what they do is when you first ever walk into a Warhammer shop, if you're interested, they'll let you make your own model and paint it up so that you get an idea of what it is and then you of course get addicted like my children <laughs> both were addicted and loved it and both got stuff for Christmas but then my eldest decided he didn't really um, wasn't as interested as his brother so his brother now is is hard and heavy into the into the collecting and the building and the playing of this hobby it's actually a bit nice that there's only one of them. It's quite expensive. <laughs> and yeah, so I just thought this is one of the last photos that I've, you know, photo pages that I've got to do for the 2017 massive albums. There's like seven albums, six or seven. And um, it's so nice to be able to just say, okay, almost finished, getting this done and being productive on it and, and calling it a day. So this here was an about like I don't know it was on the sticker sheet and it's like a fold over tab I guess but I just really wanted it as a layering piece of pop of yellow up there I left it on the sticker sheet not knowing what I wanted to do I um yeah but so I figured this would be a good spot now to just hide it over there and have it as a pop of a yellow rather than its own um, embellishment sticking out so put it there have the pop of yellow hiding behind this marbled heart which I then outlined I've got that DIY embellishment up the top that says current mood and then I am just doing a dotted dashed line on the rest of the doily so that it pops as well and there's not much to, more to this layout I did add a little bit of journaling in that trap space next to the tag and the photos it doesn't need much I think a lot of my um because I make albums with my project live with my traditional scrapbooking pages in all different sizes. I don't always add, a, you know, a ton of journaling on everything. They're, um, I don't know, I'm not really sentimental, sappy journaling kind of a person, but I do like to add just sometimes every now and then a little bit. So adding some tiny word stickers from the, the sticker sheets that I have tons left. I will have to keep them out and use them when I can. The good thing is that the colours are quite um, useful and neutral for a lot of layouts so that's a good thing. It's not just you know a random colour that you know you hardly ever use. It's not like they're purple. Purple would be a colour that you would rarely use and be very hard to to add as a tiny word embellishment all the time. And yeah so adding a border because it just needed to be framed there's a little bit of space above those strips of paper on the bottom and the top part of the page is just enough to add that just like that and then having a think what else does it need just making sure that I go through my kit and see if there's anything else that it needed adding another heart because there was just that one heart all by itself even though it ties in with the marbling on the background and the DIY embellishments it's nice to have that repeating factor and of course outline in it just to make it even bolder my pen was having a bit of an issue <laughs> it's not really um, you know it's just a normal writing gel pen I shouldn't really be using it on scrapbooking layouts but I do 
Add a little tiny heart. We're going to wrap it up pretty soon. It's going to be close-ups in the end of the video. I just then realised what was missing is the outlining of each strip of paper. Now, if I had thought about it beforehand, it probably would have been nice to ink up the edges. But then this was a happy accident because then I used different thickness of pens. I did different, um, so some were bold lines like this. Others I did little dot, dotted lines and it just added a bit of different in interest as well. So if I'd inked up all the pages, yes, it would have looked good, but it would have it would have all been very similar. Whereas this meant that I had a bit of interest with the borders on each page, which made them individually pop. And draw your eye to it after you check out what's happening. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye. <laughs>